Hello everybody, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been awkward to film things lately because it's like same old, same old, and I feel like you watch it to see new and exciting things. And as many people have stated here, me and Brad are kind of like old people, especially now that I'm pregnant. But I thought I would show you some of the kids and kind of our daily ritual and how the kids come in because I have a new co-teacher and she does this thing where she like high fives every single student. And so I'll show you their cute faces. But I want to show you my room. We just had open class and it went amazing. Here's my classroom. The desks look like they're in disarray, but there was a plan to this, to get more kids at a visible place in the classroom. One of the things we do is if the kids do well, we move a star up, 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 up to happy face, and then they get, put candy in their class's mouth. Oh, they're here. Oh gosh, prepare yourselves. It's gonna get intense. They always touch my baby. <laughs> Hello! How are you guys? Maya, you go in the Maya. Video, yeah. Video. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, for you. Wow. Wow. Baby is good. Do you know my baby's big name? Big baby. Big baby. What? Head baby. What? He touched it. Head baby. Big baby. What? Baby. Heavy. Uh, Brad the teacher. Huh? Brad the teacher. Yes, Brad is my husband. Teacher. Mom. Mom. And my house. Mom. 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 Yes, mom. Oh. Oh my God. <gasps> I think it went away. Oh, sorry. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, baby is here. Head baby. Head baby. Head baby. Oh, sit down. You. She likes to feel my belly. <laughs> It's like a genie. Are you rubbing my belly? She's rubbing my belly. Liam. 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 Mm, good job. Liam Te. Owner and Leo. But next class. They want Big Bang. than I am. I swear to God, I walk every day to school. The kids at my school, a lot of their parents work on the weekends as well, and so the school offers programs for them to come in and take certain classes. So, for instance, today I'm going to go check out a K-pop dance class. Holler! And I'm going to try to learn some really cool <laughs> K-pop dance moves with some 10-year-olds. So, We'll see how it goes, but this is the walk I take to school every day. It's about 30 minutes. Brad takes about 40, 45 minutes. You get to walk. We walk together until we get to like an intersection and then we part ways. And I only have like five more minutes and he has like about 15 more minutes. So he has a longer walk than I do, but it's actually really cool because when we part ways at the intersection, I think we've become kind of like the scandal of the intersection. Because Brad will always kiss me goodbye on my, not, not anything extreme, like on my cheek or sometimes, you know, on my forehead or something like that. But people here, like, freak out. In fact, he had these two girls. He's actually being stalked by a bunch of Korean high school students who he doesn't know, who every day try to, like, surround him on his walk to or from school and, like, stop him. And one day they try to steal his umbrella. I mean, it's intense. One day they, he, like, gave me a kiss or something like that. And as we were leaving I like heard these girls like giggling and they go up to Brad and he had never met them and they were like 
you kiss a woman. And then later that day on the way home from school, there were students who he'd never seen before who were stopping him in the street and saying, ooh, your girlfriend, you kiss? I mean, the news had spread, not even just to one school, but to multiple schools in the area. These middle school students were infatuated with the fact that Brad had kissed me at the intersection. We're famous and meaty because we're the only white people at this intersection. What are you doing?